pros and cons to being in a wheelchair. This video is dedicated to people out there who are new to a wheelchair or know that they're going to have to begin using wheelchairs sometime in the near future and are worried or upset about it. Hopefully this will make you feel a little bit better. I'd say the first one being you can wear slippers anywhere. Like literally anywhere you do not ever have to wear real shoes. If you want to you can go barefoot or just wearing socks. Yeah, people don't seem to care if you're in a wheelchair so hell go comfy. You never have to wait for a good seat. You can always look up to people. See what I did there? You're never gonna stub your toe again. So that's pretty cool because no one really cares. No one gives a crap about your pants. In fact, people don't really care about your pants when you're not in a wheelchair, but they care about them less when you are. You can move a hell of a lot faster than the average pedestrian. I'm used to going places by myself with a Bugsy and on the rare occasion where I do go somewhere with like my mom or my dad, you know, we're going in the store, five seconds later I, I look back and they're like a mile behind me. I don't mean to do it, but yeah, you get used to going really, really fast, even if you don't intend to go fast. If someone is being a serious jerk to you, you can inconspicuously ram them in the ankles with your foot plate. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do, but I'm not saying it's not. So yeah. <laughs> you really don't have to spend tons of money on shoes. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you're not gonna go through them really fast. They're all gonna pretty much look brand new for a really, really long time. Being that I used to be a runner and an athlete, I know how much it sucks to go through a brand new pair of really high quality, <laughs> uh, well-made sneakers like every two months because I just shredded them. After I got in my wheelchair, I bought a pair of Nike sneakers and they still look almost brand new and I've had them for seven months, which is Pretty much past like two months is a record for me. Uh, I save a lot of money in shoes. <laughs> Ooh, and especially in movie theaters. Most of the time you're gonna get really good seating and you never have to worry about like the theater selling out because the wheelchair spots are just empty spots without seats. So it's not like someone can take your seat. Tend to get bulkhead seating on airplanes. Not that big of a deal, but a little extra leg room. Unless, unless you're in a wheelchair due to paralyzation, then I, I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, you get to customize your own ride, literally. You you can get whatever color you want, you can get it sparkly, you can get it in patterns. Um, you know, once you pick, you're gonna be stuck with it for five years. Uh, but if you're short and you're in a wheelchair, no one ever makes fun of you because of your height. Most people in a wheelchair are around the same height. I'm only 4'11", and now I feel more normal at a normal height, because, you know, even though I'm not, like three feet off the ground, but you get to go really fast anywhere you want. So anytime you want to feel like you're racing or in like a high speed chase or something, you can do it just for fun and no one's going to care because they're like, oh, look at that girl in the wheelchair and she's so fast. They're not going to be like, hey, slow down. Did I already say you don't step your toes anymore? You develop really good arm strength. So if you do have to do things that require upper arm strength, it tends to not be a problem. And just wait till we get the technology. Maybe five to ten years and we'll have jetpacks on the backs of our wheelchairs and you guys will all be super jealous. You get to sit on a really poofy, comfy butt cushion all the time. I guess it depends on the cushion that you have, but mine is like sitting on pure happiness and cotton candy. You never have to wear real pants. You can literally get away with wearing yoga pants and sweatpants for the rest of your life and nobody judges you. In fact, if you do it right, you can probably wear yoga pants with like fancy clothes and stuff and still get away with it because no one gives a crap about your pants. And if you're a girl, um, I know I never, I used to hate yoga pants because um, I felt like everyone was just staring at me all the time because I used to feel so uncomfortable wearing yoga pants. I would never do it. Now that I'm in a wheelchair, I can wear comfy yoga pants and not have to worry about that. So. Yeah, I don't feel violated, and I'm also super comfy. You can accidentally roll into walls, fall off of curbs, and do all kinds of weird stuff, especially if you're a massive klutz like I am, and you don't get judged for it. People are like, oh, it was a wheelchair. It's like the wheelchair has a mind of its own and she lost control. 
Um, so I just roll with that usually. People actually help you. So, well, most of the time they should. Uh, so people actually sort of care about what happens to you when you get injured when you're in a wheelchair. I mean, they should care to everyone, but you know, they don't really seem to. You can run people down when they're bothering you. <laughs> you can pretty much catch up to whoever you want in within seconds, especially if they're just walking. <laughs> You can get all kinds of cool like attachments and accessories for your wheelchair. You can get cup holders, you can get like little decals, uh, you can put bumper stickers. I have one on the back of mine that says my Australian Shepherd is smarter than your honor student. Probably half true, actually. You can decorate your ride however you want and no one's gonna judge you. No one's gonna be like, ooh, that girl has weird stickers on her wheelchair or that girl has a stupid color for her frame. Like, no one cares. You can express yourself however you want. You can go all out. You can have like purple, rainbow, zebra stripes and sparkles if you want and no one is going to care. It's definitely a really good way to express yourself and you also make it more fun and less medical equipment-y. Some disadvantages of being in a wheelchair. Although I will say that there are not too many of them and most of them are easily fixed. The blisters. The blisters suck, but um, your hands will eventually develop a rougher skin. Um, you will get calluses and you won't have blisters and pain in your hands for very long once you get used to it. And you can also wear gloves to avoid this. If you get yourself a good pair of wheelchair gloves, they can be easily fixed. But finding a good pair is very difficult. I think I went through like 50 different pairs before I found one that didn't break through to my skin within like a day and a half. So yeah, that, the blisters aren't great, but you can solve that problem pretty easily. Oh, and the gloves are also good for if you have metal hand rims in the winter time, sometimes they can get really cold. Ugh winter and well precipitation of any kind really uh, you will have trouble in participating the participation uh oh my god what am i trying to say precipitation you will have problems in precipitation but depending on your chair they may be better or worse for you so the weather can really suck um especially if you live in maine in the winter you know hey buddy hey oh i love you Um, yeah, so that, that, I, I'd say, so I'd say the biggest problem and probably the most non-fixable problem would have to be weather. And that really just depends on where you live, being in Maine with all of the snow and the rain and the sleet and the hail and, um, you know, eight feet of snow and stuff. It's, it gets tiring. Um, you know, you have to be ready to accept the fact that you may be trapped inside your house for at least five or six days, possibly. Even even when your path is shoveled and plowed and everything, there's still going to be ice underneath. That sucks, but that, that's the biggest disadvantage, I'd have to say, is weather. And the next biggest disadvantage is living in a place that has a lot of hills and mountains and stuff. Um, even downtown, everything is just like bumpy, 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 down, up! down, bumpy bumpy, up, up, straight down, and sort of backwards, and like, that's, yeah, that's our, that's, that's where I live. There's a lot of hills. Um, <laughs> if you're going to be in a wheelchair, especially for pain and fatigue, I highly suggest being somewhere as flat as possible, because um, that, that is really going to suck if you live in a rural mountainy area. There really aren't many cons to being in a wheelchair. I mean, obviously being in a wheelchair itself is a con because you are limited to an extent, but you're really not as limited as people tend to think wheelchair users are. Most situations, the only time you're really limited is if you're in the wheelchair for pain and fatigue because then it's not just your legs, it's other problems that, you know, uh, say if you're paralyzed, you can go do like wheelchair sports and stuff. I can't go do wheelchair sports because I can't risk more head injuries and I also am not physically capable of that because it's not just my legs that have problems. Aside from just being in the wheelchair in general to weather as a whole, weather and precipitation and location, uh, geography, let's put it that way, there really isn't much of a downside to the wheelchair. People who are in a wheelchair for pain and fatigue and uh, reasons other than their legs oftentimes prefer the wheelchair 
Uh, many of them are in a wheelchair by choice simply because without it they would have no quality of life. I know I prefer my wheelchair. I mean, I don't want it. I hate that I have to have it, but I definitely love it in a way because without it I wouldn't have any independence at all um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to live my life. Try to focus on the plus sides to being in a wheelchair because there are a lot of them and there's a bunch that I didn't mention that I can't think of right now. <laughs> if you ever get down about the fact that you need a wheelchair or if you ever meet someone who's new to a wheelchair and is really upset about it or if you know someone who is going to need, knows they're going to need a wheelchair in the near future, try to just tell them some of the plus sides because there are some. Even though they may not seem like much, it makes a difference to just think about like the little things. Frankly, I like the fact that you don't stub your toe. So, although I did get my toe caught in the foot grate once, so that, that kind of hurt a lot. Have a good day.